In this video, I'll show you multiple solutions on how to fix the Wi-Fi connections of your broader printer. So this could work on many broader printers, not a specific model. Let's get started right away. Before trying anything, the easiest solution is to simply unplug your broader printer from the wall socket, wait a full minute, be patient, don't do anything, and then plug it back in the wall and try printing again. If this didn't work, you can try the same exact technique, but with your internet router. So unplug it from the wall socket, wait a minute and plug it back. These simple tricks usually works, but if not, don't worry, I have many others. All right, the third solution applies if you change the Wi-Fi password or the internet provider recently. If you've done one of these things, you'll have to reconnect from the start your printer to the internet. A bit how you did it when you first got it. Solution number four is for routers that have two different networks. Sometimes maybe your router has a main network and a guest one, or sometimes a 2.4 gigahertz and a five gigahertz, just like the one in the video. Well, make sure that your printer and your device that you're using are connected on the same one, and it should be the main one as well. If any of these didn't work, well, you can reset the Wi-Fi settings of your broader printer to start fresh and start connecting again to the internet. To know how to reset it, it's very easy. Just type reset and on Google your broader model name and you should be able to find the tutorial showing you how it can be done. Usually it only takes a minute or two, don't worry. And here are some extra tips if, uh, well, it's still not connecting. First, confirm that your mobile device, your PC, Apple device, tablet is connected on the right internet network. Sometimes it auto connect on a different one, so you may have to select it manually. Also make sure that the firmware of your phone or again, tablet, PC is up to date. This can play a big role in connecting with your printer. Sometimes it's just this. And finally, if nothing worked, I suggest that you manually assign an IP address to the printer itself. This can be done in, again, just a few minutes. You just have to type on Google static IP address with your broader printer model name. This way it will show you how uh, easy it is to manually assign an IP address. So thanks for watching. I hope this was useful. If it was, please leave a thumbs up. If it wasn't, well, still leave a thumbs up, please. <laughs> and if you have additional tips or tricks, or if you want to say anything, just type down below in the comment section and I'll try to read them all. See you in the next one.